Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and as we go into this video with Neoform Elementals, I want to thank our sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc., Esports Gold, HauntedFlower.com. Thank you for supporting the channel. At CoolStuffInc.com, CGB5 gets you 5% off. Let's dive in. We've got a lot of elemental cards. We've got Neoform to fetch up specific elementals by sacrificing those that already gave us value. Thunderkin Awakener can get back the Risen Reef to get extra value. Healer of the Glade gains life in an ever-aggressive meta. It seems necessary. This was Lanoir Elf. You know what Lanoir Elf does? First, I gotta pay two life to play it a lot of the time. Second, it dies. It dies instantly. It dies to everything. It dies to Fanatical Firebrand, which I played against probably on turn one a million times today. And that's all. Uh, only a million. But, oh my god. The tilts have been real. So I'm trying to get this to a version where it might compete with red. It can compete with anything mid-range and anything control. It can drive those decks absolutely insane. All I've played today are red and blue-white flyers. So hopefully that's out of the system now. Against those decks, you need an early shock, early healer of the glade, and a Yarrick to stabilize the battlefield. And you need to be careful with your lands. This is an all shock land mana base. It's pretty intense. It will hurt you pretty bad. It's hard to get more black sources into the deck for the Yarrick, so we have unclaimed territory instead. All of our creatures are elementals, so it can cast anything that's a creature. Other than that, we need red mana pretty early to cast our shocks, and we need blue and green mana to cast the neoforms. And then late in the game, we have some planeswalker power. Chandra can exile things and sweep things, giving us outs to two other situations the rest of the deck doesn't handle well. And Vivian can destroy artifacts and enchantments while keeping the elementals coming, which is why she made the list. This deck can do absolutely absurd things when given the right opportunities. It usually involves a Risen Reef being alive. We'll see how that works out. An important card that we're not using in the deck is Chandra. Chandra is a three mana planeswalker that makes two elementals, and that can be pretty often pretty awesome with Risen Reef, but we're not doing it. And the reason for that is because it requires she requires double red mana and it, the unclaimed territory can't help. So I don't feel like I can really run Chandra in the deck and play her when I need to. Also, that deck should also have the other elemental. The, um, what's the name of, like I can never remember the name of this one, but there it is, Creeping Trailblazer. That's the card that plays well with Chandra in a different style of deck that I've made a video on before. You might wanna go back and check out that video. But uh, that video is like Creeping Trailblazer, Chandra, Risen Reef, Living Twister, Omnath, Lightning Stormkin makes it in there. It's much more aggressive. This is a much more defensive take of the deck. And yeah, um, another card I'm not running is Cavalier of Thorns. And that's because I feel the card is a bit overplayed. I think it was really good early in the format, but now everything is so fast, this is just too late. And if it gets killed, you just don't get the card because either you're dead or the opponent kills it in response to the trigger so the card gets milled anyway so people have figured out how to play against the cavalier and now it's a big hulky pain in the butt and i think vivian reed would do better there all right that's the deck <sighs> let's go see how much mono red we're still running into out there and if healer of the glade can make a difference well We've got the unclaimed territory into Leafkin, so we'll keep it. This is one of those messy mana bases that might pan out. We have to lead on Sulphur Falls because we don't control an island or a mountain. We don't have one in our hand, so it's going to enter tapped. Godless Shrine Shock, Vampire. Stunning development. All right, Elemental, Leafies. Let's slow that roll a little bit, Vampires. Slow it down now. Bloxkis. I don't fear a shock. If the opponent has a has a disfigure, they could kill this, the Leafkin there, but I think it's a bluff. And it looks like it was. So now we can play Omnath and kill off a Vicious Conquistador. It's a pretty good start to our day. We could also play the Cloud Concealer, draw deeper. But I think I like getting Omnath down. You want to slow this as quickly as possible. Let's name Elemental, not Vampire. It's kind of a mind trick having a Vampire over there. Let's go. Anything to take some Vampires off the battlefield. It 
Is it Soren time? It's always Soren time, right? Not yet. Opponent attacks first. Interesting. Another Adanto. So those things can be a pain. This thing is definitely a pain. The opponent didn't pay the four life, though, to um, put a counter on their knight. So now that we have lands to play, we can keep growing our Omnath. This turn we can Cloud Conceer and we can Leaf Can Druid. Let's start with the Seer. I do not mind throwing these under the bus against the Vanguards, by the way. They draw a card. If they get the opponent to pay for life too, I'm a happy camper. That's a Yarrick. That's pretty sweet. All right, pay two. What am I? What am I growing? Who wants to get in there and tango with these Vanguards? I think it's got to be the Omnath. I think the Omnath has to get bigger, stronger. And here's other Druid. All right, we're getting ready to Yarrick the opponent. Could be nice. We have eight mana next turn if the Leaf can survive and if all of our creatures survive. So that's something to think about before we throw a Cloud Conceer under the bus. That said, we can play pay two for the Cloud Conceer. Then that turns on the two Druids. Then we play the Yarrick, but then we don't get to draw the extra card. It's possible we just take this damage. Soren. Let's see what Soren does. If Soren does the plus one plus one counter thing, then the Soren plus sacrificing a vampire won't kill one of our th one of our creatures. All right, just you. I will take that punch. Ow, ten. Feels bads, but we get to have a very explosive turn. There is a rootbound Craig off the top. So make some mana. Here is Yari boy. Now, if we Scorch here, we get double 1-1s. One it could swing into this Sorin. Omnath is swinging in already. Yeah, I know, I'm thinking. And maybe that's the play, but we are at 10. It's dangerous. And I really would love to put counters on the Yarrick because of the lifelink. Let's do it like this. And now we Scorch him. Scorcher comes down, double trigs. The opponent can only lock one. They have to pay four life to block the other. And they're just going to scoop that up. They don't want to play anymore. They, Soren was going to die. We were going to be left if I had that planned out right with uh, several blockers to take on the Vanguard. So I think we're in pretty good spot and the opponent doesn't even want to see how ugly it can get. All right, Leafkin, Risen Reef, Yarrick on the play. Seems nice, seems nice. I think we lead with the Steam Vents because Shock is just a card in our deck that we hope to play often. Second turn can be Unclaimed Territory, Leafkin. All right, away we go. Opponent kept their seven after some contemplation. Could it mean their hand isn't very good? Could it mean it's absurdly good? Could this turn one tank mean something? It probably means that they have to finish I don't know what. <laughs> their game on Magic Online. Their Magic Arena game on their alt account on their laptop. They're just multi-queuing. That's what I get to wait for. It's okay. It's fine. More time with you, the viewer. Yeah, I, I, I have to think a lot about that play too. <laughs> All right, Elemental. Let's go. It's a ramp off. You're ramping, I'm ramping. Who will ramp harder?
That wasn't very hard. I'm not impressed. Uh, let's see. I guess in theory I'm saving myself one damage here, so... By having a Leafkin to block the Llanowar Elf, since I don't plan to block with the Rivenson Reef. And whoa, we hit the healer! Ballin! Could have saved it to go with Yarrick, but nah, let's get that value now. Let's get that value right, right now, now. Alright, green, you must have something to do for turn four. Nobody keeps a hand with, like, turn one Llanowar Elf, no three drop. Without having an awesome turn four. I'm expecting Nullhide Ferox or Vivian. The archer and it's vine mare cannot be blocked by black creatures but healer of the glade is up for the challenge yaruk yaruk this actually taps for two mana if i shock play this land and then trigger what could i get for two green i could get another leafkin druid is it worth it let's give it a shot chandra Scorcher. Okay. Didn't hit the Leaf Kindred. It didn't, didn't uh, make the two life worth it. But we did the thing, and we're against Mono Green, so they might have Vivian. Vivian the Archbow. Vine Mare kills the Yarrick. That would be sad. Then I'd have to play my Chandra and show them all the meaning of pain. Nissa is here to shake the world. I'm here to shake the world. I'm here to shake the world. Come on, bring it on. Uh, that's some Dolph Ziggler entrance music for you wrestling fans. What do you think? Does Healer of the Glade take one for the team, or do we take five to keep four creatures on the battlefield? I think you can take one for the team. All right, you're going down, Nissa. Hate to tell you, but you must die. Now, there's a few ways to do it, but I think Scorcher double triggers is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Block here, take five. So we would need to attack with our Risen Reef. But now we drew another Risen Reef, and that's just nuts. That's just crazy. Triggers. <laughs> if this doesn't get those scoops soon, I don't know what, what, what does. All right. Scorchums. Triggers. <laughs> Are you ready for a mess? I can make a mess like nobody's business. Boom, boom, boom. And, uh, yeah. Gonna be here a hot minute. Putting all these cards. <laughs> Am I gonna deck myself? Hold on. 32 cards? That would be impressive. That would be an impressive decking from this position. But I guess it could happen. I didn't do the math. And if so, well, you can say you were there. You can say you saw CGB deck himself. Okay, not quite decked. Holy crap. All right. Um, 21 cards in the deck. You get them. You get them. I guess the Risen Reefs can get in there too, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So even if the Yark is blocked now, the opponent will die. I guess we can hold one back to do some blocking. It is kind of time for the Risen Reefs to die, because if they don't, we are going to deck ourselves. Alright, so now we will shock for this land. Pay two life. Shock yo forest. Now you don't got one. And at the end of all this, I do have to go down to seven. 
Discard 13 cards. Was it worth it? Yes. Uh, healers, you can go. Druids, you can go. I think more shocks are probably not going to be very relevant. Neoform, I have everything I need. We don't need more Risen Reef. Not at all. Uh, not more Yarix either. I don't think the green deck is going to kill it. One Chandra should be enough. Cloud Concealer could actually matter. Vivian Reed, probably not. What have I selected? Not enough. All right, Healer, Reef. And I ended up with a Leafkin Druid. I would have gladly turned into something else, but oh well. Pretty hard to manage a hand of that size. Cavalier of Thorns. Did not expect that. Did not expect that one. Blocks. Bye bye, Reefy. We simply can't deck ourselves here. We simply can't can't take it that far. We're just going to Scampering Scorch and then Omnath Face. Scampering Scorch. Omnath face. Easy 20. Going first, Druids, Neoform. A card that I won't use till later. Why not? So it's like living... It's, it's like living Groundhog Day. Once again, we're battling out of the mid-90s, trying to redemption arc our way to the top 1000s. So usually my evenings and my mornings consist of jank, eh, basically tuning these decks, trying to get a version that's good for best of one, getting smashed a lot doing it. And then I get to a deck that I think I can play for a video, and then I start recording and I try to battle my way back. And yeah... That is not really what we wanted to see here, is it? But we can Neoform into a Risen Reef. Yeah, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. Let's get that value. Looks like we're up against Esper, which can be an interesting matchup. Not the draw we wanted. I could play the Healer of the Grading Glade and get the value, but I think the Leafkin Druid makes more sense. I don't think our life total will be in jeopardy. Oh, bad draws. Like, like, really rough. I mean, Chandra might be able to steal a game here or there, but okay. Well, that doesn't kill the Reef. That's a good thing. There's a Seer, and we have a Healer. And this can make double mana at the end. Let's see what we get off the Seer, which we know we want to play. Druid, Neoform. What can Neoform become? An Omnath or a Scorcher? A Scorcher. Scorchums. Value. Value. We need value. Enter tapped. Opponent probably thought Teferi was safe, but Teferi is not safe. Teferi is dead. I do expect a Kaya's Wrath, but then we can follow it up with a Thunderkin Awakener that we just drew and get even more reef value. Or we can just run out the Chandra if we find another red source. All right. Awaken. Awaken. Sorry, Karn impression. Did you like it? Uh, let's enter tapped. Okay, so three mana. I want as many triggers as I can get. So let's go for you. That's a lot of shock. In a matchup where it's not great, but we do have Chandra coming up. Alright, the opponent now must deal with the Awakener, and everything got value. 
So our hand is still freaking stocked. Ashiok says, no more Risen Reef from the graveyard. And they got another Reef, which is... Uh, However, I've got tricks. So I could just play the Chandra. Hmm. I have a way to get some value out of Cloud Concealer, but it's pretty convoluted and not great. Um, this attacks for two. All right. And we need the double red for the Chandra. I guess I don't care much about Ashiok. Um, it hurts against Neoform, but not much else. I have an emblem. Let's get toasty. I don't need to play another healer here. The life is not important. I will let myself get milled. Not too worried about it. Opponent can keep their Ashiok. Playing the healer here for no value isn't that good. I guess it's another body the opponent would have to deal with, but I just like holding it. Maybe that's wrong. But here, with two Chandras, with three Shocks in hand, with an Omnath, we just want to get our opponent in burn range. I know they have a, a Bacon. They have an Interplanar Bacon. But... But I think we can get there. If they're playing a Planeswalker every turn, I think we can run them over. There's a Vraska's Contempt. The opponent has to deal with that Chandra. No! Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two. So I think we can open on this. That will make you produce double mana. Then we can play the Omnath. We could also play the healer to get an extra point out of it. Maybe that's just worth it if we're trying to burn the opponent out here. Shoot your face. Play the land. Put a plus one, plus one counter on a thing. May as well be you. Get the opponent down to eight. Make them wrath me again. That emblem, it wants, it, it's gonna get you. And so is big Chandra number two. The fairy returns. The bacon begins. Let's just throw a shock up top. Before the Teferi effect means we can't play it for the rest of the turn. What's the plan? Well, if you bounce the Awakener, it comes back with haste. If you bounce the Omnath, it shoots the field. It's all kind of rough. So three mana left. Better make it good. <laughs> Kaya's Wrath shows the Kaya's Wrath without the mana to play it. Oops. I guess, I mean, I would have, like, see. Kai's Wrath, I can still shock, shock Chandra, right? Well, the early Awakeners don't do much. I don't know if this is actually even a good hand. It's kind of rough. We're re relying on a few draws off the top of the deck to be good. And on the draw without a removal spell, it's hard to get into this hand. Nah. I'm a wild card. What can I say? I hate mulliganing. And we lose. And we draw the other six drop. Two six drops in the deck. Why do I draw them in the same hand so often? Second game in a row I've done that. Awakener, but we'll hold you back and try to prevent some damage. We are not the beatdown. Not even close. And, of course, Soren can shut that down by putting a counter on the Conquistador. Or by just dumping a Champion of Dusk and refueling the hand. That's another thing Soren can do. Risen Reef. Well, it's something. Trash. 
trigger. I'll be over here getting destroyed. Chandra a bit slow against the vamps. Not good enough. Ow. Opponent thinking of throwing the Conquistador? No. Just just pumping it up. Just pumping it up. Gotta diversify your bonds. Alright. Chumps. Because hopefully Awakener will bring you back. The opponent might kill the Awakener if they do have a backup. But I don't think there's really a way back into the game. Not really. So what do we do? I guess we kill the Lieutenant so that our Awakener doesn't die. That's down to eight. It's not good. Give me back my Reef. Well, Soren down. And now what? Block here, take five. If the opponent has another sword, it's lethal. But that's the way it goes. Not a lot when we're playing this far behind. Mortify will do it too. And smash, smash, go the vampires. Kept bad hand, got wrecked. All right, let's take a quick look back at the deck. The biggest problem for the deck in best of one is probably the mana base. The amount of times you have to shock yourself just to play magic is too high, and Healer of the Glade doesn't do enough to fix it. Neither does Yarrick. So honestly, I don't think, it, while when the deck goes off, it's an absolute thing of beauty, I don't think the deck is best of one competitive viable. It's close. Uh, I think that the Teamer Elemental or the Sultai Elemental is a lot closer. I think that you've got to have a little less pain in your mana base in such an aggressive meta, which is exactly what best of one is. In best of three, I think you could totally uh, work this deck into something that can be okay, but it will never be tier one because the main crux of the strategy is a Risen Reef strategy. The opponent can remove Risen Reefs. It's just a 1-1. One, one. And after sideboarding, they probably have a lot of good plans against you. But it's a fun deck, and the amount of nonsense it can do is pretty great. I don't have a lot of tuning suggestions right now other than I don't think Chandra really cuts it which is too bad, but then you don't have any sweepers. I feel like Chandra has to be in the deck somewhere so that you can come back from a crazy position, but maybe you just don't do that. Maybe you just use Scampering Scorcher and Thunderkin Awakener to make a huge position for yourself. If we cut the Chandras and run all the Scorchers and ramp into them, maybe that's how we stay alive instead. Maybe we kill the need for exile removal and kill the need for sweepers and just become more of a blunt combo deck instead of a mid-range deck. So yeah, those would be some suggestions. Try it without Chandra, up the Scorchers, and just go a little bit crazier on the combo side of things. I really missed Llanowar Elf. The lack of acceleration, like the turn two Risen Reef, turn three Scorcher is really where it's at. But again, the mana base, the amount of mono red, the amount of aggression, like you could pull that off and still get run over. So uh, your call, whether to Healer of the Glade, Shock, Llanowar Elf, what to do in the one spot. I hope you enjoyed this video with four color Neoform Elementals. Thank you to our sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc., Esports Gold, HauntedFlower.com. And uh, please check them out. Links in the description to support the channel. As always, if you don't like this video and you don't like this deck, don't worry. There'll be a new one tomorrow, a different deck every day. That's the CGV way. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.